What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers as people of color who've made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shannon Tynes. What's up? What's up? And Levon Maynard. That's right. You are Ryan Williams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I added an extra S in there. Williams is. is so <laughs> I was like, that was weird. Uh, so we're we're on the uh, the weekly rundown. This uh, this episode, we talk about uh, you know what we've been what we've been doing this week, uh, what kind of media we've been consuming, all that good stuff. Like a lot, not a lot of cyber stuff unless we've been studying. Uh, hint hint, wink wink. It wasn't me, oh. by the way. Mm. I said I was going to study this week. I did not. Time is time is growing short. Like I only have access for another two months. No month month and a week. So five weeks. I got five more weeks of access. Supposed to be a week long class. Uh, I've taken three months to start it, so <laughs> mm. we we are going to get to that sooner or later. I'm going to start studying, but yeah. Uh, from from Shannon's awkward silence, he is not studying for his SSP at this <laughs> very right. moment. No, no. <laughs> it, it, was, right. it was it, this week was a little bit busier than than past weeks have been. So I I didn't. By the time I got back into the house, it was spend a little time with the kids. You know what I mean and and do all that so i i didn't i didn't study and i didn't watch too much partake of too much entertainment either so yeah it was it was a, okay like kind of a bland week okay what about you levon man for my week has been uh it's been pretty good i i i playing the same game same thing that you probably heard in some uh, other weeks worth of podcasts you know, playing some destiny playing some yakuza um i need to get back into control but I actually watched like a lot of content this last week, um, which I can dig into. But, uh, you know, I'll throw out a couple of things that some things I really like was uh, I watched like the latest Castlevania, Castlevania uh, season. I thought that was actually pretty phenomenal. I actually really enjoyed that quite a bit. Yes. They, they, they did a good job on that. They put like a lot of good action in there. I think the story was, was, was on point. Um, and uh, I think uh, I think this was pretty much the final season. I think they kind of concluded it pretty nicely. They put a nice little uh, bow on it, and they don't need to, you know, they don't need to make any kind of like, uh, was it fifth season or anything like that? Um, they can just end it right where it's at, um, and it'd be like, you know, one of the classics, I think. Um, so let me ask you something about that. So like, I, I tried to sit down and watch stuff, and I, I saw the trailer for that, right? Okay. Castlevania, because I know Ryan, you had mentioned it last week, and I was like, oh, it's what Ryan was talking about, and I watched the trailer. So I'm not gonna mention anything that wasn't in the trailer. That's cool, right? Like that's not, mm-hmm. really yeah. Important. But so like, was. Dracula's son showing up before this season? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. uh, uh Al- Al- Alucard, Alucard, or Alucard, how do you pronounce it? Alucard, yeah, Alucard, yeah, it's like Dracula backwards, yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. So, uh, he uh, he's in it from from I think like episode one actually. Um, but in the in the games, usually it, it was always about the Belmonts, but they had Alucard in uh, like Symphony of the Night and a few others, uh, as well. So, he's he's been in like maybe half the games, maybe. The, the oh, no, I've, I've never been i've never been good at castlevania yeah. <laughs> that's my my hidden secret i've never i've never completed one of them i'm gonna go back and play simply simply the night is like a masterpiece so i have to go back and play that one and try to beat it but i've just never been good at them i don't know why i don't know why i'm not good at it. the trailer made it seem like he just showed up <laughs> no no like if once you once you get into it, if you if you ever decide to get into it um it's it like inter- actually it was interesting it was it was very yeah, interesting yeah. when i saw the trailer so i'll probably yeah. watch because it has all four seasons i think it showed on there i'll probably yeah. watch it from the beginning because yeah. like, so in the, in the fourth one is the final one so it's only four seasons uh but they do some really good character development like obviously they created a bunch of characters for this for the show but even kind of characters you thought you knew uh pretty well like with the uh the belmonts and the uh the the uh, dracula like they do a really good job of fleshing out characters like it's one of the best video game adaptions ever in my opinion i don't think anybody's beaten this uh or going to beat this anytime soon uh, and I, obviously it's animated, so they, they can uh, take a lot of liberties. Like it's a lot easier to do an adaption when it's uh, when it's when it's drawn. But the uh, the drawing is phenomenal. Like it's some of the the, the best I've seen. Like I don't know if it, I don't know if you can consider it an anime or not because uh, Net- Netflix is teetering on between cartoon and anime because mm-hmm. depending on, like where the studios are at and who's in charge of the studio, that makes a difference, right? But mm-hmm. it's anime inspired if it's not anime. Like like the Last Airbender is not anime; it's a cartoon. But it's anime inspired, mm-hmm. um, and this yeah. this is like they do a 
phenomenal job when it comes to uh, not only developing the characters, but just the animation. Like the fourth season, off the chain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Some of the best art I've seen ever in a, uh, in a, in a uh, anime or a cartoon. So, um, yeah. Third, third season is kind of raunchy. So if you got kids, like I, 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 my son, can't, my son can't watch it because the third season is like uh, watching like HBO Rome, where it just keeps flipping from from violence to sex. <laughs> it's like orgy, yeah. violence, orgy, violence. Uh, but that's not the fourth season. Fourth season is all action. Like they, yeah. they really wrap it up. But it was a spinoff. I don't know. I, I didn't read into detail about the spinoff because I didn't want to spoil anything for the final season. But there is supposed to be a spinoff. That's how hmm. how well it was received. But the director was like, I can't go more than four seasons and make it make it still be this good. Right, right. So, it's gonna start losing some stuff after you know yeah. any more seasons if they keep going. Right. But I, I definitely recommend it. If you have the, just the inkling to watch it, like you might not be an anime person, but you just like good good stories, they do a really good job. Yeah. And even like the voice actors and everything, they I think they were pretty good. Yeah, spot really spot good. on. You you hear a yeah. lot of people that you you know from other places. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah. That's good, good casting. I added it to my list. I added it to my list, but I didn't get I didn't get to watch any of it because like as soon as I start watching, all of a sudden, you know, my daughter walks in. I'm like, I saw the trailer <laughs> yeah, like, oh, click. and they was they were slicing, <laughs> yeah. they were slicing people up pretty good. You can't watch this. Yeah. Game, so let's, yeah. You know, let's go let's go find, you know, uh, Lilo and Stitch or something, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty violent. Um, yeah. But uh but yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for it. Like I, I I of course I marathoned it. I watched it on the weekend. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I thought I, actually, it was good. I, I was gonna go ahead. Oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was just gonna say I actually watched it from, from the beginning again with uh, with the wife. She we watched the first season together, but then, um, you know, she didn't seem as interested in the second and third. You know, following up, you know, the second and third season. Um, so I kind of watched them ahead of time. Or maybe I was just a bad husband. I just watched it, you know, without her. But nonetheless, <laughs> we watched. No, that's what you're supposed to do, Levon. That's what you're <laughs> yeah. supposed to do. If you don't want to stay here, this is what happens. I'm gonna watch it without you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I end up we end up watching it from season one again. We just like um, binge watched it over the last like I don't know, it must have just been this last few days. Uh, but so I got to you know get everything refreshed in my mind how the story you know progressed up to uh, season four. And uh, yeah, just like Ryan was saying, man, I thought it was, I thought it was really phenomenal. I think they did a great job on the animation and action in it. Like and like it, Ryan was saying, it's like nonstop action. I think in the last last season, um, and the voice acting is on point. Everybody's like. And it's, it's got the humor in it. They like the, you know, they have like even Alucard is like, you know, he's kind of a stoic character, but he's, he has like, it's like, he's like, uh, almost kind of like Ryan is now, but he's like really stoic, but he's like, he's got the jokes, right? <laughs> like, ha ha ha, that's funny. <laughs> kind of, that kind of thing. <laughs> that's pretty much his character, yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but it's like, it's good. I think they did a great job. I think, I think and I think you like it too, Shannon. So. Especially you like I know you like a lot of other animated stuff in the DC universe and all that kind of stuff. So I think you appreciate it. Especially I know you're an action guy too for, for all things uh for that's, anything. That's what I need. That's what I yeah, need. Yeah, you need action. That that has plenty oh, yeah. of action. Yeah, yeah. And it's plenty of yeah, uh, yeah, it's definitely definitely the action you need is, is yeah. in this uh <laughs> this series. Cause they still they still develop the characters really well, even though yeah. like I think there's maybe a couple slow episodes, maybe. It's yeah. like, all right, we got we to gotta explain some stuff. But even in that, like, uh, again, like, they don't necessarily have... They, so there is a, B, there is a B-side story, uh, technically, with Isaac, where you, you'll get to learn that character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that you're like, that's pretty... Like, so it might be the spinoff, for all I know. But you're like, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And then it, like, it, they continue to develop his character because I don't believe he was in any of the, uh, the source material, to my knowledge. I, again, I've never beaten one of these games. Uh, it's one of my dirty secrets. Um, yeah, same here, actually. I, I yeah. need to... Because it's a platformer and a and a a, a Met- Metroidvania uh, type situation, so that's that's where the, the term comes from, Castlevania Met- and Metroid game, where you have to like there's one ginormous map, but you can't get to all of it at any given time. Like you have to develop and learn new new skills, get new weapons, and then you can unlock old areas that had like doors. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so I just it's a uh, skill and then B uh, patience. So I've never mm-hmm. I've never made it through um so one of these days like if they ever port one of them to the switch i'll play through it but Hell to yeah. my knowledge it's simply nice not on the switch so if it ever comes i guarantee you i'll play it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it kind of like just watching the anime kind of made me want to kind of go back and like man i don't really play the game all the way through like 
I need to just like play a little game just to see what kind of compare it and see what's the same, you know, what's similar and what's yeah. different between uh, anime and the uh, actual game. So uh, that's kind of on my bucket list as well. But I got so much stuff on my queue, my video game queue, I got to get through. But uh, that's definitely in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. So my, my week was pretty, uh, pretty, pretty tame in the stuff and all that, uh, the stuff I, uh, I watched and I, I did. It was a pretty slow week. But it, it was, uh, we'll, after, so the post show, I'll tell you how, how uh, so I, I'm a planner by trade uh, nowadays, like, so IT guy, but now I plan things and no plan survives contact with the enemy. Let's just say that. So I had a very, very rough execution day. Um, but aside from that, that's why I didn't do ask us P was that that night. And I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I posted on the social media. It's like, not tonight. We ain't doing this. Um, so I, I didn't do that. So I feel bad. So I got to catch mm-hmm. up this week and do an Ask Us SP. And then uh, um, I watched I'll, Bad Trip. Bad Trip. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I, watched, I watched Bad Trip. And uh, I, I was like, yeah. And so my, my post, my post it, it came off in a different tone than the way I actually felt. I just didn't want to share too much about it. But um, I actually thought it was good. It's one of the only times one of these prank films actually did it for me. Like, I usually do not like these because uh, people people are just being people and they don't want to be bothered. And I'm just like, this is dumb. And I get you have a general, like the, the best one I've seen is Bad Grandpa, I think was the, the best one out of the whole Jackass uh, series where they actually had a, a story to try and develop, but also mess with people. Borat does a pretty good job, but uh, like, uh, again, I just don't like, like stop messing with people. Like in Borat's situation, they messing with, they messing with celebrities. That's hilarious to me because they kind of deserve it. <laughs> but most of these these they, people, it's just regular people just trying to mind their business, right? But this one that I thought he did a good job. Tiffany Haddish was funny. Uh, that's not Hannibal. That's another dude. Uh, Lil, Lil who's Lil, also Real Howery. Yeah. So he he's always funny. I think he was in Get Out. Uh, I think it was him in Get Out. I always get the two confused. Um, I can't remember. But I think it was him. And he's always funny to me. And then the other dude, uh, the main character, I don't remember him in too much stuff. But I, I, I thought I thought yeah. um, I thought he did a good job of balancing the pranks with the actual story. Like, so I, I laughed throughout the whole thing. Like at the very beginning, when he was running through the house, like Killer Mike, when he just shattered the <laughs> yeah. glass and the cleaning lady didn't know what to do. You're like, what I was like, okay. I was like, okay. I get, I give you because yeah. because it, it was like short skits until they got to the end, uh, which I thought was was the funniest part. Uh, so uh, usually in these movies, they don't mess with too many uh, uh, people of color. Like usually, it's it's uh, like you know jackass, and they have a certain demographic they're going for. But this one was was primarily people of color, and it was hilarious because we react totally <laughs> different, <laughs> right? Like, like the uh, the restaurant scene had me dying because that lady was hype. <laughs> she was right, like, right. She was like, She's she like, gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That part that, had me going too. Yeah, yeah. That Tiffany one had like, the, yeah. The Sorry. Tiffany Haddish and, and her brother. That that last yeah. one I want to give it away, but that that one where uh, the the most dangerous scene, uh, like that one, like the, and the lady was like like literally just trying to find a reason. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was like people probably love you she was like no they don't she was like well <laughs> she just kept coming up with reasons right right I was, I was like man we make everything hilarious like we make everything better just yeah saying. oh yeah so, so like i i plan on watching it but eric andre sometimes is is too much for me right like yeah he can get to just, level but yeah yeah, he just wants exactly. he just wants to show his junk all the time, and I'm like, I'm not here for that. You know what I mean? Like that that does happen a couple of times. Yeah, that's, what, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. what he does because he has his own show too. Uh, I don't know if it's still on or not, but it's kind of like a it's in the same vein as the uh, Zach Galifianakis one. What is that? Between two ferns or whatever? Right, oh, right. Oh, like talk, that's where I saw him. Show. Yes, yeah. I did not like Adult that. Swim. I think oh, it used to be. Yeah. I never I watched like it. it. Yeah. Me either. Yeah, yeah, I watched I watched one episode and like he like fell through the desk and I was just like, this is trash. <laughs> it's like too much too much yeah. that's where he's from okay it makes sense now. yeah that makes sense to yeah. me now i'm like it's not funny because like, i don't like between two ferns either like i don't think that's funny yeah yeah, yeah he's kind of like an edgy like edgy kind of like co- comedian that he tries to be like you know uh, uh push the push the limits to his comedian yeah, you know right. just try to like be all extra and just like dramatic like he was saying falling through desk and being naked and like you know you know like 
just all like uh just, just shuffled and like look all kind of crazy mm-hmm. yeah yeah now he's 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 different but like i i, I did see the trailer and i was kind of like man this is, does look kind of funny you know what I mean? yeah he, i think he did a good job in this one though he he, he, he and i don't think he i don't know i don't think he gets I, i'm trying to remember but i don't think he gets so crazy like you maybe you saw on some of the uh his uh, uh um his yeah. talk show or whatever they 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 kind of they kind of uh I'm trying to think of a, a good term for like they keep them all in a box, like they all have yeah. their parameters, right? Uh, but for some reason, I don't know. Like I don't, I don't know if it was if it was on purpose or what have you. But the people they run into are hilarious themselves. Yeah, like the uh, the uh, the the dude from jail. I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this, yeah. this, this is this is good. This is good stuff. Yeah, because like, <laughs> yeah. because because for the most part, when they showed the bloopers, there's only a couple times where people shut down. But for the most mm-hmm. part, like they didn't have any of those. Like it was just right. people just being funny. Right. <laughs> like their reactions right. were just hilarious. Yeah. So I was like, okay, okay, I like it. I like it. Right. And then there's a one that uh, what got me one point when like uh, I think Tiffany Haddish had a picture of, of of one of the guys that they were clowning. Like yeah. Uh, like, yeah. like, like how'd you get a she picture? She's like, you, you in the picture. He's like, how'd you get a picture? Like, <laughs> like what the hell? Cause it's like some random guy that, you know, like, yeah. like you were walking on the street, Shannon, and all of a sudden she has a picture of you, like with somebody else. And like, this is you, right? <laughs> like, what's, what's going on he here? He's like, and that like, is me. <laughs> and 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 like, you're with like, uh, you know, Eric Andre or something like that. It's like, what the hell? How, how the hell did you, where'd you find this picture at? And it's yeah, pretty, that was it's pretty, pretty good. Funny. That's yeah. pretty. Yeah, I was like, I, so they never explained that. I, I got to see the behind the scenes. Like, someone, someone, one of his friends had to set him up. They had to find somebody. They'd be like, right. yeah, like yeah. he's gonna be here at this time, and he'll he'll do a good job. So. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I think it's a good. I think it's a good movie. I think you like it, uh, Shannon. It, it, it got yeah. pretty good reviews. I saw from like I think Rotten Tomatoes stuff like that. I think it got like a seventy five or something. Um, so that's pretty good for. Um, yeah, for this kind of movie, I think. Yeah, 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 for what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I definitely enjoyed it. Like, uh, it was you and uh, it was a bunch of coworkers also trying to push me in that direction. I was like, I'm not watching it. So yeah. <laughs> finally, I was like, all right. <laughs> all right, I'll watch it. Yeah. But, yeah, I thought it was good. And then I also watched uh, four episodes of uh, Harley Quinn. Hilarious. Yeah, and you like that so like, far. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's really funny. I'm like, okay, yeah. I, 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 like- I, can, I can keep watching this, yeah. Yeah, I like JB Smooth's character, and uh, my wife likes. She really likes uh, 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 Bane. Bane's character. He's like, yeah, I was gonna uh, say Bane is my like favorite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like, I'm yeah. like, gonna blow this place up. <laughs> <laughs> he's always trying to blow something up. He's like, "Dang, Bane, calm down." <laughs> but they always they always picking on Bane. They, they pick on him yeah. like a small child, even though he's the biggest one of all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. Then all the B-side people that you uh, you normally wouldn't see in, in something like this, like Kite Man. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> he'd be clowning yeah. on him. <laughs> Kite Man. Like, what the? Because I knew I knew Calendar Man. So when they showed Calendar Man, I was like, okay, that's it. That was a uh, Easter egg that was always in Arkham in Arkham games. Right. Mm-hmm. Like one of the lamest uh, characters ever. But then Kite Man, I was like, who the hell is Kite Man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up with this Kite Man? <laughs> but he's funny too, man. All the all the characters like they all got their own personality. I think it's pretty good. I think the uh, as the show develops, I think uh, you know all the side characters are maybe maybe more funny than Harley Quinn herself for like the main character. Yeah. I guess like it's like all the side characters characters add so much more to the uh, to the story and to the I don't know to the enjoyment. Yeah, but, I got to the king the the first episode of King Shark and that surprised me because I, I only know the the I can only speak my name King Shark. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this dude's pretty eloquent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's where I left off. I'm like mid, midway through episode four. Right. So I was like, okay. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like that series. Is that the one with the, the TV show? Right? Is that the first one? Javandra or whatever her name is? Or no? Okay. Mm-hmm. No. You'll, you'll see. I don't think I didn't get that far. Yeah. I didn't okay. get that far. Like I, I literally made it halfway through and uh, I started, I started uh, yeah. passing out last night. So I was like, okay, I'm going to sleep. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that might be the last one I watched. Actually, is the the fourth. If that's the fourth one, yeah, that might be the last one I watched. But yeah, it's kind of funny, right? Because you see him now and how he is. Like you're like, oh, he's very intelligent and whatnot, and that it yeah. 
will change up. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> right. Yeah, because because I when I was yeah when I was watching through the the Dark Justice League or whatever, uh, it was all like you know saying saying his name and then like the ep- last episode or the last episode he was in, you know, you, he actually said said this dude was like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did watch. Um, so a couple things I watched, and I know you haven't seen it yet, but I watched Army of the Dead. Um, Is it any good? Do you guys want me to tell you my initial reactions right now? You, you guys can. I probably won't watch it. I probably won't. Yeah, watch it. yeah, I'm gonna watch it at some point. Because uh, I, I, I am a huge zombie flick f- fan, but no longer a TV zombie fan. Like, like the uh, Walking I, Dead. I like it short and co- short and concise. Yeah, like it's, Walking it's Dead just went way too long. Yeah, it's too long. That's too long. They need to wrap that up. <laughs> really. Yeah. <laughs> but the Army of the Dead is. Uh, I'm gonna say it's not it's not that great of a movie. It's a it, oh, it's no. fun to watch. It's it might be fun <laughs> to watch like on like a you know just, hey, I just want to throw something on TV just to have it playing in the background while I'm kind of doing other things. But it's not one of, you're not gonna really uh, not gonna be a lot of takeaways from the movie. Um, okay, I can only think of like maybe one or two parts that were kind of like oh damn like oh shit that, that kind of happened there. Um, but uh, I don't you know I don't want to like disappoint you, but I didn't enjoy it. Maybe you'll find it a little bit more entertaining, but it, I think generally speaking, I looked at some other reviews and it like, looks like people don't really like it either. Um, mm-hmm. Gotcha. You know, it's I, I'll, I'll give it, yeah. I'll, I'll, like yeah. you said, I'll keep, it, I'll keep it on the background. Like, yeah. uh, is, it, is it because it's just not good in general or does it do the Netflix thing where it's, it ends with amb- ambiguous, like why, 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 why? <laughs> why yeah. did you not finish this movie? <laughs> I feel like they, it's like, it, it really had like the, the elements to be good. I mean, you know, has a nice cast. I mean, Dave Bautista is like, I think he's the main guy. Um, yeah. And whether or not you like, like him as a an actor or not, but he's, he's pretty good in, in the role, I think, but it's like, it's not really like fleshed out. It's like, it's really, I don't know. First of all, the reason for them to go and in, go into the situation they are, it's kind of like, kind of like, why would they do that? Um, and then, cause it, for the most part, they, they want to give this, this, businessman wants to pay these guys some money to go get get some money or to give them a cut of this money that's left in vegas that's surrounded by zombies so you guys send the guys in there to get the get the money so we can uh uh because he got he got uh, pretty much he got insurance money uh from a company because his business got compromised from the zombie invasion and so he got this millions of dollars for for uh uh for the from the insurance and so He's like, let me double dip. Let me try to get the money that I've already got insur- insurance covered for. I'm gonna send this team in here to go get this money, and then like, uh, that's like old boy from Ocean's Eleven, though. Yeah, like yeah. Harry Benedict, because in the second one, even though he got his insurance money, he was like, I still want you to pay me back. You know? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. So I think it's kind of one of those, but it's like, it's not really fleshed out, and it's not like really exciting as far as the, um, I don't know, even like the zombie interactions and but i mean it's, it's kind of out there i mean it's really like uh it's really stylized i think from uh was it, zach snyder I yeah it's his flick so i mean you put like a lot of flair and i think it's kind of cool so i used to live in vegas so I get to see some of the the biggest sites and like uh, uh whatever set they use i mean it seemed pretty like realistic like oh they, they must be in vegas right now like walking around um but uh i so think it was it's, yeah, it's it's not crazy. Great I, I read a story today and I didn't know this. So like uh, one of the original cast members is uh, Chris, Chris D'Elia. I, I don't know how you, D'Elia, I don't know how you pronounce his name. There's a comedian that got caught up uh, because he was accused of, you know, some, some sexual assault and stuff like this. So there's a character in there, Tig, Tig Natoro. She's the uh, helicopter pilot, I guess. She's yeah. all, she's green screened into all of it because like they had to do all her scenes um, during COVID. So like everything mm-hmm. she does is with green screen. So I'm like, oh, I, don't know, I don't know how that will look. Like, how do they incorporate everybody else with her, you know, if they do at all? Like she's a helicopter pilot. So I imagine, you know, they have to be with her or whatever. But yeah, I read, I read an article where all her stuff was filmed by herself. There might, I think there might've been one or two days she was with one of the other actors of the main cast, right? Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, so she's all green screen. I'm like, how do you incorporate that? Is that going to look dumb you know what i mean <laughs> right 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 I don't know. and yeah yeah I, I remember reading something about that as well but it's uh 
and, and you know, I won't say that the, the, the movie's like horrible or anything. Like you're gonna be like, oh man, uh, you know, I wasted my life watching that movie. But it's just gonna be like something that's like, uh, if I if I didn't see that, it would not have, you know, it would not have hurt my feelings. I would not I would not feel like I, you know, uh, you wouldn't be missing out on anything for the most part. It's like you're not like it a gonna re regret like, oh, I didn't watch that movie. Dang. Now it's a cult classic. Everybody's telling me, you know, talking about it, and you, you know, go to office right. place, and everybody's talking about, oh man, you see the army dead. Oh man, that's so great. Yeah, yeah. You see that one part when he did the, you know. I don't think you, you're fine. A lot of people doing that, but people might be like, oh, okay, I just watched it. It was all right, and uh, move on with the next, you know, topic, <laughs> whatever. But gotcha. But you, yeah, I, I, I like to get your take on it when you watch it. If you, if you watch it too, Shannon, uh, what you think about it? But I think it's just like okay, it's like a C. He's like, probably, he's like I'm probably not gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shannon, like I'm not gonna waste my time. <laughs> I was already on the fence because it's a zombie flick. You know what I mean? I like, I, I think B uh, Dave Bautista is getting better. Like he, uh, like I like him in Guardians of the Galaxy, right? As Drax. Um, yeah. He, mm -hmm. he did one that was kind of a comedy. Uh, he was uh, My Spy. I think it was an Amazon movie. Right, mm -hmm. like he works for the CIA or something, and there's the little girl he's protecting or whatever. He moves in. Yeah, I didn't something. watch that one, but I know. What you, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was good for what it was, right? So like he's, I think he's just trying to get more leading man stuff and not be so much in the background. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, yeah. It, I, I don't mind watching Dave Bautista. I would watch him and stuff that he does. But yeah, zombies and whatnot. I just. I don't know. I just don't get it with the zombie stuff. I'm not saying I won't watch zombie movies, but I don't seek them out, and I'll probably wait forever before I watch it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm usually pretty pretty big on it, um, but I think the last good one I saw was probably in the 48 series, where they, you know, I mean, like crazy fast zombies or uh, the Walking Dead remake, like when they remade it with uh, uh, Ving Rhames was in it. Like that, that was like a decade ago or longer. Yeah. I, I like know what zombies, mall, it's always mm -hmm. good. <laughs> right. Yeah. But then, yeah, yeah. But, then, but then Romero wanted it back because, you know, Romero made pretty much the, the, uh, the zombie flicks what, what it is. But he was like, I'll do the sequel. And it was trash, mm. hot garbage. <laughs> <laughs> hot, so, hot garbage. Yeah. 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 I, I, I like, in general, I like, uh, uh, zombie flicks. Um, I watched like majority of them that you can you can probably name, but uh, it's like uh, this one really didn't really do it for me. I wasn't like really invested uh, as I watched it. I kind of got so I, I did get like a little distracted every now and then. I was like this kind of boring, so I kind of looked at my phone for a little bit and like scrolling at some news articles and I kind of glanced back. But uh, mm. that is not me really, yeah. I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna waste this hour, you might not even waste this hour and a half. <laughs> it's actually like a two, I want to say it's like might be two, it's two and a half hours long. So maybe that's oh one thing God. too. It's like it's kind of a long so, movie, too. It's like <laughs> a lot of filler in there. Uh, so maybe so that's kind of what turned me off. Zack Snyder did say that he he was able to keep his creative control. He said he was like, This will not be like what it was like with Justice League. I, I read in an interview, um, mm. that got all the Zack Snyderisms or whatever or something like that. <laughs> I, I like yeah, that. Right. Random slow mo, like it's it's hit or miss with Zack, with Zack Snyder for me. Like it's never it's never low quality. It's just right. Just yeah. sometimes the stories be like, I, this is I don't care. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll say that it does so, seem like it has like a, a big production value in it. It seems like they they definitely took some time to like put it together and like I don't know. Uh, develop all the scenes and the backgrounds yeah. and all this kind of stuff, but I mean the, the trailer and the, the maybe the action. Tiger. The trailer's got a zombie. Yeah, tiger. zombie tiger. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. That, that looks cool. But yeah, yeah. and the tiger maybe is yeah. only in there for like like two or three scenes, maybe like at all. Like it's barely you know barely much of a thing. Right. Uh, I'll say that the guys don't even fight the tiger. They don't even like only one person interacts with the tiger. <laughs> gotcha. so it's not like the tiger's like a. Yeah, did play. he do Tenet as well? Was that Zach Zach Snyder's joint? No, was that, I, I'm sorry. Nolan. That was a Nolan joint. Yeah. So they they both I don't know they it vacillates between good and just like mediocre for me. So you like you like the Batman stuff, right? Like Nolan did the Batman stuff. I did. I, so a lot of people think the first one is one of his best. I don't I don't agree. I thought the first one was kind of boring. Um, it was the uh, the second one for me. Um, and then obviously the third one, but uh, the the first one was just okay. Like I saw it and I was just like, man. 
it's not it's definitely it wasn't the, the worst batman um movie out there that's, that's still uh val kimmer's batman but <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't it wasn't the most exciting it wasn't until uh the sequel came out that i was like okay i get down with this universe mm-hmm. so but you know origin of stories are always boring but i was gonna say batista was also in blade runner 2049 i thought he did a good job in that he's he's in it briefly but enough where you're just like man eh, he has different levels to his acting mm-hmm yeah, he, yeah. He, he, like I said, he's he's usually a side guy though. Like he was also in a, he was a bad guy in a, the James Bond. Which one was it? Spectre. I don't mm-hmm. know if you ever saw Spectre with Daniel. Craig. I have not. I so I, I don't. I didn't watch any of the Daniel Craig uh, um, Bonds. Bond. Uh, it just it fell into a time uh, and in place. Not that I didn't want to see them, but it's just not that they just weren't like not accessible. I would have to go rent them. I just was like, man, when I see it, I see it. it, it if you're going to watch, because I think there's like four or five of them. I'm trying to think four. I think it might be four. The one that's coming out now is the fifth one, James Bond 25 or whatever it is. But if you gotcha. watch one, watch, watch Casino Royale. That's the first one that he did. I think you would like that one more than the other ones. Quantum of Solace, I was not a fan of. Then it was Skyfall and then Spectre. And then gotcha. the come out whenever. I think it's later this year, November, I think, or something like that. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't liked the Bond flick since uh, Goldeneye. It was the last one I actually enjoyed. Pierce with, uh, Pierce, yeah, that was the last one I enjoyed. Okay. So it might have something to do with the game as well. Oh, that was one of my favorite God. shooters. <laughs> <laughs> the controls are hot trash. You try to play it nowadays, it's garbage. But it's, as a kid, it was <clears throat> excuse me. As a kid, it was amazing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, Goldeneye. That was the shit back in the day. <laughs> yeah. So there might there might be something there. There might be some correlation between the two of them, but. That's the last Bond flick that I, I enjoyed. So I need, I need to check them out, though, because um, I always heard they're really good for, like, uh, you know, sound, like home theater. Like, those are the movies you want to jump on. That Mission Impossible. Right. You want to jump on right. those. So. I like the Mission Impossible, so. Yeah, which I've only seen maybe one or two of those. Oh, man. I think, hey, which is crazy to me. Like, I don't know. Like, for whatever reason, I would stopped watching spy flicks. At, at that time of my life, I was watching something else, I guess. I don't know. Is it, because, is it because you're not a Tom Cruise fan? Is that probably why? Or no? I was then. I was at that time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like now, he's, he's he's still okay. Like the Edge of the Morrow was still. Uh, I enjoyed that. Uh, like I can separate him from his crazy because it does. It's not like a, like a, what's his face from Braveheart. Uh, it's not like a Mel Gibson nope. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So I can kind of separate the two. But like Mel Gibson, I don't mess with him either. Yeah, every every time somebody mentions Mel Gibson's name, I think of South Park Mel Gibson. Did you ever see that episode where he's crazy and he's talking about passion all the time? Passion of the Christ? Yes. Yep. Yep. I did see that one. You didn't like passion? <laughs> you didn't like passion? <laughs> right. Every time somebody mentions that's what I think about. It's like he's going crazy and smearing crap on himself. But yeah. But uh no, I I I think you would enjoy Casino Royale. Um like I said, Quantum of Solace. Probably not so much. Um, Skyfall is okay. Spectre is okay. Like it goes, it goes more into stuff that they they all kind of go together because from the first one he's kind of on a revenge tour for for different things. Gotcha. So I think you'll I, th- I think you'd like the first one at least, and it may make you watch the second one, which you'll be like ah, that's not that great. But I'll be like okay, we'll keep going. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Don't stop. Right. Yeah, I, I want. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Like, I gotta actually sit down and watch because uh, the last like spy joint I watched was Tenet. I did not enjoy it. Before then, uh, had to be something. But uh, a couple years back, I want to say, uh, I think it's called Blonde Blonde Bombshell or Blonde Shell. Atomic or... Blonde. Is it... Yeah, Atomic Blonde. Atomic there you go. I, like I couldn't. I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it right. But uh, also high on action. I like the uh, the uh, was it um, a, a Theron joint. I think she was the main character. Charlize um, yeah, I think she. I think she was the main character. Um, uh, I like her as an actress. I like the action in it. I just. I don't know what it is about spy flicks. I was just like, man, nah, not interested. I think it's the the double into the triple cross. Like once you start to go back and forth too many times, it's just like I don't care anymore. Everybody's a bad guy. Kill them all. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, that's just a genre that's fallen off for me in my adulthood. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think I watched pretty much all the the Bond flicks, but uh, um, 
I, I can't I can tell you about them right now. I can't think of a because it's been just a while. It's been a while since I watched them, and then um, I did watch the. I mean, not recently, but other movie had Daniel Craig in it, where he's like he's trying to solve a mystery, like a murder that happened. Oh, Kni- uh, Knives Out. Knives Out. Yeah, I didn't watch that yeah. one. I thought that was pretty good, and that was a pretty fun. That movie. was pretty good. Uh, yeah. See, I, see, I could I could mess with the the mystery joints. Like yeah. that that back and forth is okay with me. I don't know something to do with spies. I just don't. I'm not feeling them. Yeah, <laughs> don't yeah. know why. Yeah, but right. It, throw- it kind of threw me off because he didn't have the English accent, right? Like he didn't have the British yeah, accent. Yeah, the, the yeah, southern, yeah, like the a southern <laughs> draw. I was like, I know that's right. not hilarious. It's, it's right. like it's like Idris Elba too, right? Like I know that's not you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. There's a there's a piece of mud right here on the ground. I mean, it's like, you got this southern. <laughs> it say it say he's getting a sequel. They say there's gonna be another. There's gonna be Knives Out too. Yeah, like, I'll see like a, a different different family, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to imagine. That's the yeah, star. They'll, probably, they'll, follow, they'll follow him around, maybe. But yeah, was, like how do you how do you match that cast again? That's that's the question. Right. Yeah, they had that seemed to be a one hitter quitter. Yeah. yeah, right, right. It was very star studded. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you do that again, but uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed that one. That was pretty good. Um, speaking of home theater, I guess a, a good segue. So I've been marathoning <laughs> this YouTube channel called uh, Dream Media. So only one M though, so it's like Dream. Uh, E-D-I-A or vice versa, like wherever you want to stick to M. <laughs> but they call themselves Dream Media. Uh, they're, they're, um, they're home theater installers and they're branching out. They're becoming nationwide, right? So like they're a, a wholesale distributor. They will put you in contact with their affiliates to build your theater. And these things are not cheap, obviously, but they just show the before and afters. They do sound tests too, but it's, it, it I never liked those. Like, People who who demo how a TV looks or how a sound system sounds through my television, <laughs> mm. like obviously I'm not like if I own the TV I'm not going to be watching it. <laughs> You're not getting the full right. so I'm not getting I'm not getting any of the effect like at all. <laughs> so that that part uh, is straining, but just the people's designs how how they turned whether it be their. Um, their attic or their basement, usually these basements, because uh, they're they're primarily above the Mason Dixon line. So you see a lot of Virginia, uh, um, New Jersey, uh, and then now they're showing some Texas. They never show Florida, um, but most of them are are uh, basements that they convert into home theaters, and it's always like beautiful. Like some of the designs, are just like I don't even know how you did that. Mm but I want one of those. Uh, so I, I watched like probably 20 videos just, and I started seeing a theme. I'm like, okay, this is the best projector to do. This, this is the best screen. These are, you know what I mean? The best way to place your speakers. If you have this type of uh, house, if you do have that type of house. And then uh, last night I made a mistake. I, go- I Googled the price of the projector mm. and I was like, it, it took a lot of magic away from me. <laughs> <laughs> took all the magic out of that thing you mean these people have been spending 16 grand for just a projector like because <laughs> the build out is like because in my head i'm like okay the build out is like at least 40 45 grand or more because you have to get like they have to build the theater you have to get the furniture so i'm like okay like i maybe 50 60 grand like maybe one day i can achieve this in my life but then when i started looking to the price of the equipment and i saw that just a projector was 16 grand i was like oof oof these people yeah. are rich. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, yeah. You know, now, like now I'm disenchanted. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Need some Scrooge McDuck money right there for that. Yeah. That's crazy. So, but, it, but it's you, still which, it's still pretty interesting. Yeah. But so you, you but you were saying that as as you're watching that, you were, you're thinking about uh maybe hooking up your your home theater. Oh, I, home I always theater. always wanted a home theater. Always wanted. One. Yeah. Uh, but now I live in Florida we don't have basements so if you want a home theater you need to convert either a room which are pretty small uh or you have to to you know buy a house with a a pretty lofty uh pretty lofty loft (laughs) pretty large (laughs) loft um and convert that so there's there's things you could do um but i want to like the theater theater like i want to actually build like a you know a a 12 by 20 or 12 by 24 or whatever like convert a space into an actual theater with the seating and the projector and all that stuff. So that's a little bit pricier than I expected. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, you're talking, I mean, you're talking about like raising the room and everything. Like if you're doing theater seating, like each level goes up type thing, like you're talking like- Yeah, but room. yeah, but only like two two rows. So you'd have like, cause now they, they have furniture, like you can get like a, 
a recliner with a chase, like a whole couch, like sectional type situation on the first floor. Then the second floor could be the individual seats. Even that's not that bad on price. But uh, once I saw that the projector cost the same as a car, because <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking a couple grand, maybe this grand, and it was like 16,000. And they're always sold out. I found one last night. It was actually one available by now. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I'm not getting that. <laughs> you just wanted to see if it was real. <laughs> You're like, yeah. It was real. 16 G's. Golly. Nah. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't that rich. I ain't, <laughs> ain't spending on yeah. that. Maybe one day, but not today. Now, and then on top of it, like converting the basement is that much easier. Like uh, I, I visited, um, uh, my uncle on the, the in-law side and he had an unfinished basement in uh in georgia beautiful like he just had so much land you know the house was gorgeous then you went downstairs you just saw all the potential like that is the ideal situation that in florida is first not possible because they don't build basements here uh for well not here i'm not in florida right now but when i when i am at home they don't build basements because obviously flooding uh it's a big thing in florida but uh secondly that type of real estate uh, will cost three, three to four times as much when you're, you know what I mean, going from Georgia to, to um, the city in Florida, not, not the, uh, the floor of Nebraska type, type situation. So yeah. maybe one day, like, like if I still live in Virginia, it, it'd be that much closer to attainable, but not right. in Florida. Yeah. Florida's a little questionable. That, yeah. I remember, uh, the wife and I went to like a, a wedding and it was like in some big mansion thing. And they had like a, they actually had like a dedicated home theater room or like whatever you want to call it. And they actually had like, you know, they had like a pop, popcorn machine. They had like a little ticket booth, like a little uh, makeshift yeah. ticket, ticket booth. And it actually had like theater seating and like a projection screen thing. And uh, it was pretty legit. It felt like you felt like you were in the, like a, a real movie theater. Uh, but it's just like in a little house, no, not house, but it was like in this kind of mansion-ish type building. Yeah. Um, but it'd be pretty nice. That'd be a nice little thing, especially you get like your, uh, my wife and I call it like a forever home where you're like, this is where I'm going to be for like the rest of my life kind of thing. You know, you just want to hook up the house and just make it like, make it truly make it yours and uh, put all the, like you said, like your home theater, put your man cave in there. You got all this other stuff that you, you kind of customize on the house to make it like perfect. Um, yeah. That, that'd be kind of one of those things that'd be nice to, to put on you, you know, nice to kind of uh, uh, punctuate your house, I guess. What do you want to call it? Oh yeah. Yeah. So I started, I started doing that too. I started to Zillow and Google uh, this type of uh, real estate I would need to have a yeah. room big enough to, to dedicate to that. And, and in my area, that's almost a mill. So yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> a, it's a most, most states, it, most states would be half a million or, you know, less, but not, not, in, uh, not in Tampa. Yeah. <laughs> real estate is, there's a lot of land. There's not a lot of, uh, of uh, houses. Hmm filling that space like everything's pretty tight in uh in Tampa you gotta get yeah. pretty far out to get that type of space so you never know you never know what the future holds well somebody's uh sizzle and if you watch this too early in the <laughs> week right. not not on narcotics <laughs> that's right and you never you never up. know yeah so call back to uh last episodes you gotta you gotta listen to that one like it, life life is rough out there so mm. but I think that pretty much wraps this episode Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Levon. Always an interesting conversation. I'll make sure to drop you guys a, a link to some of these uh, beautiful theaters so you can check it out yourself. Get <laughs> get 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 jealous of these people, right? Um, with their with their basements. Um, yeah. But uh, definitely check us out throughout the week, uh, Monday through Thursday. We talk cyber. Uh, Wednesday being Ask Us SP, uh, and then Fridays we just kind of you know let, let our hair down. All of us. Uh, have short hair <laughs> and, right. and talk about it, everything else. Uh, so definitely tune in, uh, definitely continue to, to, uh, to listen to us on uh, your plat- podcast platform of choice. We're on six different platforms that I, I am tracking and know of, as well as uh, the YouTube videos that you can uh, look at our beautiful faces. Uh, hit the website up www.theothersideoffirewall.com where you can get to our Facebook and um, IG as well as you can hit me up personally at RyRy Security Guy. Uh, that's R-Y, R-Y Security Guy on LinkedIn, Twitter, IG, uh, TikTok, and I always forget one. There's another one, but uh, Clubhouse, there it is, um, where you can reach me and uh, you know ask me a question. And you, Levon? 
You hit me up on the Twitters at LeVon Maynard. There it is. So enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe and stay secure. <laughs> Take care. Thank you.